Howdy, hacksters! It is Sunday. It is Pi Day. I wanted to do a special broadcast uh, to celebrate this beautiful day. And what I have here in this envelope is a new arrival from Newark. It is the Raspberry Pi Sense hat. So uh, I wasn't that excited about this hat until I started reading about it, it's particularly in the Raspberry Pi Beginner's Guide. Ooh, look at it! We're gonna get a look at this close up in just a second, but first, let's figure out what I'm talking about. There is a book that comes with some kits with Raspberry Pi called the Raspberry Pi Beginner's Guide. Uh, they're on the fourth edition. It's available in various languages, and not only can you buy the book, but you can also download it for free, which is very exciting. Today, on Pi Day of all days, I happen to have a physical guide here. Um, and I was reading about this thing, and I was trying to get it working with my Raspberry Pi 4, but unfortunately it won't boot. I think I messed up the image somehow. Mm. So we won't have a live demo right now, but we can take a look at the book and at the Sense Hat and see what it's all about. So, uh, they have an official page for the Sense Hat. Uh, it's called that because it has not only an 8x8 RGB LED matrix, wonderful in itself, plus a five-button joystick, so that's four directions and then a click, and it includes extra sensors such as a gyroscope, uh, an accelerometer, a magnetometer, aka a compass, um, well, or you could detect regular magnets too, I guess, uh, temperature sensor, barometric pressure, and humidity. And my other camera has just gone out. Let me <laughs> monkey with this a second. Oh no. Um. <laughs> anyway, we can take a close up look at it. Uh, let's get this out of the box. Comes in a beautiful little anti-ESD bag. We've got a, an info packet from Element 14 with a safety guide. Super cool. And let's get this out of here. Contrary to what it shows on the box, it is actually green. I don't know why they show it in red on here, maybe just to keep with the Raspberry Pi aesthetic, but the board itself is actually green. Uh, the back of the LED matrix actually looks pretty cool. So that's your RGB LED matrix, 8x8 eight eight pixels. Cool. And uh, yeah, you have your little connector here, so you can plug stuff into the top, as well as attaching to this, this to the Raspberry Pi on the bottom. Very exciting. You've got your little chips labeled on here. It actually says Excel gyro slash mag on here. Uh, humidity, pressure, and uh, presumably ambient light is on here somewhere. And then you've got your little five position joystick. It does indeed click. That's so exciting. Uh, sadly, as I said, my Raspberry Pi is on the fritz as all of my technology seems to be today. Uh, spiffy indeed. Uh, the little joystick, I think, is going to be the most fun to, thing to play with here because you can design games. So a big part of the uh, beginner's guide is about getting started with Scratch and Python. Um, so it tells you how to build little games with Scratch and stuff. And the Sense Hat section itself is about 38 pages long. That's a lot of Sense Hat content. And it includes how to work with this thing, both Scratch and Python, which is also exciting. And again, you can get this book for free. You can just download it on the Raspberry Pi website. Um, they tell you an exciting message, how to uh, light up a little raspberry on your screen, and various other things. Challenges. Uh, good stuff for if you're working with kids or if you're new to programming yourself. Uh, how to get the raw data from the gyroscope, for example. And then you have all these cute little sort of assistants, sort of like Clip It from uh, Microsoft Word, but a bunch of different characters that will help you out. There's even one with blue hair, which is very exciting to me. <laughs> so uh, let's take a look at some more of these online resources. We've got the Raspberry Pi Sense Hat official page up here, and that'll also tell you about the different sensors that they have. The Python library, which has some really nice documentation, actually. Check this out. Um, tells you again about the different 
features that it has on the board directly, but also how to install the Sense Hat software, uh, some examples, and then different, uh, yeah, see the change log, doo -doo -doo. Uh, how to use the LED matrix, setting rotation, and things like that. <laughs> Flips the image on the LED matrix horizontally. All these other things with working with the matrix. Whoa, there's a low light mode that you can toggle. Get compass raw, get gyroscope, get accelerometer, the raw data as well as the normalized stuff. Ah, cool. Weight blocks, get more events, presumably the joystick stuff. Here we go, yeah, direction up, left, right, down, middle, and any. Cool, so really good documentation on the Python side, but you can also program it with Scratch. Um, you can buy the Sense app from various places. I think this doesn't actually have, uh, they don't have their own store, but you link to various places. I got mine from Newark, where there's a ton of other Raspberry Pi useful stuff. Um, for example, they have uh, infrared and white LED rings. So if you're doing, you know, if you have the infrared camera, you could use it as like a motion detecting camera or something to capture wildlife with. Uh, infrared light is cool because wildlife normally can't see it. Same as us. And then same with the light ring uh, that's white. You could use that for as a little ring light for doing your own little pie casts or whatever. <laughs> as well as like touch screens and things like that and SD cards with noobs pre-installed and different interfaces and whatever. One of the cool things about the Sense Hat is that it was used for Astro Pi, which is this ongoing mission where there's two Raspberry Pis with Sense Hats, I think, on board the International Space Station. Their names are apparently Ed and Izzy, named by the astronauts. They tell you about this in the beginner's guide. And that is so cute. And not only uh, can you get involved if you're a student, but also they have uh, information on previous winners of the Astro Pi Mission Space Lab from previous years. So these range from things like uh, you know, detecting the ebb and flow of greenery on the planet Earth. There were a few ones actually that used this process that I had to look up, Normalized Difference Vegetation Index, a very popular choice with the Raspberry Pi from space looking at the Earth. And so I've already learned something from this. <laughs> uh, and look how cool they look on the space station. Ah, oh, gotta zoom in on there. It looks a little bit different because, oh, what? Oh, I see it's just maybe rotated. I could totally see that being like this orientation with the joystick down at the bottom corner. And then they have some extra stuff on there. Ha <laughs> cool. Uh, and then you can check out all the different winners and stuff. There's also someone who's used it for art. Kaleidoscopic space art made with Raspberry Pi on board the ISS. This didn't have a science mission, but it was designed to inspire. And indeed it's really cool. I found a spot in the video where you can, as they say, see little beads floating around in microgravity in this kaleidoscope that they have mounted on board the space station. That's so cool. I wonder if that's the Sense Hat's LED matrix that it's looking at. I don't know. But that's pretty sweet. We have the Raspberry Pi Sense Hat API reference, as I mentioned. We have a hello from Tanisha. Hello. Uh, that's so exciting. I like to do these at various times of day because then we get to catch people from all over the world. Of course, you also have a bajillion projects on Raspberry Pi on the Hackster website. Just go to hackster.io slash raspberry dash pi. Um, one of my favorites that I just saw is this Marvel and DC weekly new comics release list tracker. And while the PCB here, look at this sweet Spider-Man PCB. That's so cool. I think it's got a particle photon on it. Oh, no, it's got an Arduino Nano 33 IoT. Those are really cool. But the actual tracking of the comic releases is done on a Raspberry Pi, and they tell you how to do all of that. Oh, that's so cool. They made their own Spider-Man PCB in KiCad. Look at it. It's got, a little, it's got a little matrix display on it, too. Not a matrix display, just like an, um, looks like an LCD <laughs> with different colored backlights. It says, get comics. This week, next week, previously, and graphics. Oh, that's rad. And it's got a big knob on it for some reason. Excellent. Oh, check that out. That's so cool. Anyway, this was made by uh, Kudluhan Akhtar. And I'm very excited to uh, share that one with you. <laughs> so this Pi Day, we have it all. We've got space. We've got Spider-Man. 
I need another spur thing. Mm, splines? No. What I don't have yet is pie. So, since this computer is not agreeing with me, I'm going to go make some pie. I got some pie crust specially yesterday for it. And as soon as my pie is up and running, I'm going to go play with this sense hat. Which actually, oh, I just noticed it has a little slot in here so that you can put through a camera connector. So if you're mounted on top of your pie here, I'm just going to unplug this. <laughs> if you stick the sense hat on top of your pie, notice that this slot sits directly on top of this camera connector right here so you can have both at once which is always better than one thing at once just like we have computers and pastries today uh who doesn't love it thanks for joining us this pie day um i think this also comes actually with some standoffs and headers and things yes so that when you're uh jiggling the joystick you're not also jostling these connectors uh yeah fantastic and I can't wait to learn more from this beginner's guide. I don't consider myself a complete beginner in Raspberry Pi, but there's definitely lots to learn, especially in terms of Python, which I'm always looking to strengthen my skills. Thanks again for joining us. Have an awesome rest of your Pi day, and we'll see you soon. All right, hack on.